Hi, this is Margaret from Margaret's Crafts. I want to show you a little hint about if you're trying to get something to print out a certain size. And with some of these cartridges, like uh, when the accessories, they print out the size that goes along with that item. But if you want the item bigger, like if it was with paper doll dress up and there was a stocking, and you want the stocking, you want to just use a stocking in your your uh, your your layout or your card, and you want the stocking to be three inches, you may have to go all the way to eight or ten inches to get a three inch stocking. But a way, and you'll do a lot of cuts to uh, try to get to there, and you're just wasting a lot of paper. But the way that you can do this is in Design Studio. If you don't have the Gypsy, or if you don't have the version of Design Studio, the full version, you can always go to Cricut.com and download the trial version. In the trial version, you can do everything except you can't cut anything from any cartridges that you don't have. You can only cut from a cartridge that, the cartridge that came with your Cricut. And you can't save the files and transfer in the trial. But you can see what you need. Okay, let's use the example of everyday paper dolls for every day. And I want to do a guitar. Let's find the paper dolls for every day. Okay, the um, paper dolls for every day the paper dolls for every day has a guitar that's in the second row, the seventh one. He has a little guitar player. And I want to make just the guitar that I want to do on a layout. So I want the guitar I'm going to say to be I want four inches. So you're going to put your four inches over here. The first one is, it's in the uh, headwear section. It is the shift. And is the seventh one. Now, I had said four inches, but if you noticed... If you noticed, he is only like three and a fourth inches because of the fact that he goes with the paper doll. So if I do my paper doll, just my basic paper doll in four inches, he will be four inches. The guitar is fit to go with him. You can either you can do it two ways. You can hit real dolls real size and then hit it and I'll get a four inch guitar but if it was like an item that has layers to it this won't work because all the layers will be four inches tall if you use real doll size but if if it has layers and you want to find make one four inches, you may have to just keep going up and hitting on it till you get one that is four inches. And for the guitar, I need to hit it five inches. So now when you go to your Cricut, now you know what size that you need to make it to get it 4 inches. You know I need to have it set at 5 inches. In the trial version of this, you can, you can see it and use it. You can change your mat if you have the expression or if you want to use the, um, if you have the expression and you want to use your 12 by 24 mat, you can change your mats to that size. And you can, this is free. You can use this and it can be updated with all of the other cartridges. 
to figure out what size instead of just going through and cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting to try to get your right size. But remember, if it's layered, you need to figure out the size to make it to the size that you want and keep that size for everything. If it is, if it is only one item, all you have to do is hit your real your uh, real size on your Cricut and that one item will come to the actual size that you put in. I hope this explains everything. And if you have any questions, just um, leave me a comment or go to my blog, which is Margaret, uh, which is Margaret Dash. I love crafting dot dot com. And I'll get back to you uh, with your answer. Uh, I hope this helps someone. Thank you for watching my videos.